Jeff yes. Gray. Yes. 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 Oh, hello, everyone. How are you? It's nice to be here. I'm not feeling great today. I found my first grade pubic hair today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, in a kebab, unfortunately. <laughs> You don't expect that, do you? <laughs> Can I speak to the old guy, please? <laughs> yes, he knows who he is. <laughs> Can you take him off kebab-making duties, please? Because it's weird. Age creeps up on you, doesn't it? You think, oh, I'm really young, and then one day you catch yourself tucking your shirt into your underpants. You <laughs> oh, dear. That is really comfortable. <laughs> oh, dear. I feel safe and secure. <laughs> Every time you bend down, you go, eh. Oh, did you hear that? You start to like your mum and dad again, don't you, as you get older? You know, because when you're a teenager, you hate your parents, which is fair enough, because they hate you. Yeah. It's a mutual hatred thing, isn't it? I'd love to have teenage kids just so I could take the piss out of them. I'll go, I'll pick you up from the school disco and then turn up in my pyjamas. <laughs> Bloody hell, there's dad. Oh, we're not going, are we? I thought I'd come in and have a bit of a dance. Why not? I've got me dancing slippers on. <laughs> I'll turn up on school sports day in a pair of really skimpy shorts. Pulled really tight. <laughs> with me testicles in two different time zones. <laughs> Keep an eye on your old dad. Socks and sandals made for speed. <laughs> Do you remember your first love bite? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Your mum knows straight away, doesn't she? Because you're watching telly in your balaclava. <laughs> Take your balaclava off in the house. No, I always watch Scooby-Doo in my balaclava. <laughs> Who smells of toothpaste? I have no idea. <laughs> in fact, dating girls when you were 15, you girls, they would never help boys out, would they? They would never undo the top button of their jeans. You know, you'd, you'd have to try and shove your hand down the front. It was like trying to stroke a dog through a letterbox, wasn't it? <laughs> as fine as that. <laughs> and girls are so cheeky, they go, oh, you boys, you're crap at foreplay. You go, well, bloody come on. <laughs> There's not a lot of room there. This isn't foreplay, it's trying to find money down a sofa. <laughs> then you do manage to have sex, which is usually round your parents' house. That was hard work, wasn't it? Sex behind enemy lines. <laughs> you know, you're both blacked up. We'll have to keep the noise down. <laughs> I'll keep me trousers around one leg. <laughs> you keep your knickers in your hand. <laughs> and we should be okay. It actually wasn't so bad when it was around your house as a boy, because if you got caught, you know, all you get is your dad going, do you mind, Jeff, your mum and I eat off that coffee table? <laughs> He's got no manners, that lad. <laughs> so at least we know what's been happening to the doilies. I was young and in love. <laughs> but if you're around your girlfriend's house and you get caught, her dad'll bloody kill you. <laughs> that sort of heightens the senses a little bit, doesn't it? If you think there's a damn good chance, you will die. <laughs> if he catches you entertaining his lovely daughter in the wheelbarrow position. <laughs> oh, hello. You're home early. <laughs> Want anything from the shops? Because <laughs> women don't care, do they? They're fearless. They're all, yes! Yes! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yes! It's like a car alarm's gone off in the house. <laughs> I just walked past her and she went off. I never touched her. I was as frightened as you. Look, I jumped out of my trousers. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Grain.